Jenna Lyons, the former creative director of J. Crew, has a fabulous apartment in the heart of Manhattan's Soho neighborhood that fans of Bravo's The Real Housewives of New York City can't get enough of. This fashion icon has shared some snapshots of her home on Instagram, and her followers are absolutely smitten with her dreamy oasis. Uh, they're especially captivated by her closet and shoe collection, which some even believe surpasses Carrie Bradshaw's fictional wardrobe. Jenna's home is filled with unique treasures that perfectly showcase her distinctive style and impeccable taste. She's a big fan of things that carry a sense of history, appreciating the patina, stains, nicks, and chips that come with them. This love for imperfections can be seen throughout her beautifully renovated three-bedroom loft in Soho, a project she dedicated two years to. Now let's dive into what all the excitement is about. First, Jenna's closet is a shoe lover's paradise. It features a hallway with floor-to-ceiling shoe storage that ensures every pair is elegantly displayed. <laughs> Jenna counted over 380 pairs in her collection, including top-notch brands like Gucci, Prada, and Nicholas Kirkwood. Natural light pours in through a large window during the day, while a brass chandelier illuminates this shoe haven in the evening. Dusty rose drapes and a warm-toned velvet bench add a touch of luxury, and a lush plant in a white and blue pool brings a breath of fresh air to the space. As soon as you step into her apartment, your eyes are treated to a delightful visual feast, and you won't find your gaze settling on just one thing. This intentional arrangement is a testament to her incredible talent for layering. Picture this, a Serge Mall sconce peeking out from behind a jungle-themed Dymore Studio screen, a leopard print poof cozily nestled beside a pink Millebaumann sofa. The way she blends various objects, materials, and finishes with artistic finesse and a touch of whimsy is truly impressive, yet it still exudes a bohemian vibe, just like her bold fashion choices, where she famously combines sequins and camouflage. She carries her rule-breaking spirit into her home. She playfully disrupts the architectural symmetry by hanging artwork off-center or casually leaning it against the wall, creating a captivating eccentricity. After discovering the anchor of the main living space, the Milo Balmain sofa, she gave it a personal touch by removing the tufting and reupholstering it in pink cotton velvet. In her home, the combination of green and pink, often associated with preppiness, takes on a fresh and cool twist. Mm, yeah, blending elements from the worlds of fashion, art, uh, design, and her travels, Lyons infuses her home with a distinctive character. She even collaborated with her builder to create floating brass-clad bedside tables as a tribute to Donald Judd and found inspiration in a bathroom at the Gritty Palace in Venice, sourcing veined marble for her own use. Lyons also worked closely with her contractor to refine the millwork and moldings, adding extra tall doors and high doorknobs. She's 5 feet 11 inches tall. Throughout the space, from the unlacquered brass splashbacks in the kitchen to the honed marble countertops and unfinished oak floors, she aims to showcase the beauty of everyday life. Consider investing in vintage art and books. And yes, books can be a form of art too. According to Lyons, vintage art, architecture, and photography books often possess unique character and elegant spines. She also suggests a creative idea, taking postcards or images from old books and framing them with high quality frames. This can truly enhance the overall appearance of a piece. Check out the fascinating Guzzini lamp. <laughs> this eye-catching creation by the Italian lighting manufacturer, Guzzini never fails to spark conversations. Eh, people love discussing its unusual color, distinctive shape, the versatility of tilting the top to direct the light, and the option to place it on a surface or hang it on a wall. However, the most intriguing topic is the cord, which for many becomes a defining feature. Some may want to Photoshop it out in photos. Let's talk about the brass side table, affectionately known as the cheese wedge, for obvious reasons. This unique piece was a delightful discovery that came from diving down a rabbit hole of exploration. It's a testament to the joy of discovery. Sometimes you stumble upon the most remarkable things when you least expect them. Jenna Lyons had some amazing things to say about her chair shed decor pieces. Jenna Lyons shared her insights on creating a well-layered room, saying that 
One of her unique guidelines involves pairing different materials when combining a fully upholstered sofa with chairs. She prefers contrasting elements, like something delicate with a hint of metal or wood, to create a pleasant tension that visually separates the pieces, forming distinct zones within the room and providing a variety of textures for the eye to enjoy. Or according to Jenna, what truly makes a room memorable is incorporating at least one distinctive element that stands out from the ordinary, turning the spouse into a signature of personal style. She gives the example of her pink couch, which sets a unique tone and lingers in people's memories due to its unexpected and less common appearance. Open and inviting, Lyons favored open kitchen layouts that created a sense of spaciousness and encouraged interaction with other areas of her apartment. Mason, this openness allowed for a more sociable and versatile living space. Neutral color palette, Lyons typically adhered to a neutral color palette in her kitchens with shades of white, gray, and beige. This provided a clean and timeless canvas that allowed other design elements to shine. High-end appliances. Being someone with a keen eye for quality and functionality, Lyons often invested in top-of-the-line kitchen appliances and fixtures, ensuring that her culinary workspace was as efficient as it was aesthetically pleasing. Lyons added character to her kitchen spaces with unique statement pieces such as custom lighting fixtures, distinctive cabinet hardware, and designer faucets. Now, these details showcased her meticulous attention to design, art, and decor. The kitchen wasn't just a functional space for Jenna Lyons. It was also an extension of her artistic sensibilities. Like She often adorned her kitchen with art pieces, decorative dishes, and curated collections that made the space feel personal and warm. Bathroom. Luxurious materials. Lyons' bathrooms were characterized by the use of luxurious materials such as marble, high-quality tiles, and custom-crafted cabinetry. Eh, these choices elevated the bathroom's aesthetic and offered a spa-like atmosphere. Neutral elegance. Similar to her kitchen, Lyons tended to use a neutral color palette in her bathrooms, creating a serene and timeless ambiance. This choice allowed her to experiment with textures and accents without overwhelming the space, statement to bathtubs and showers. In her bathrooms, Lyons often incorporated statement bathtubs and showers, freestanding soaking tubs, rainfall showers, and custom glass enclosures added a touch of opulence to her bathing spaces, greenery, and personal touches. When it comes to making a room feel cozy, Jenna emphasizes the importance of adjusting the lighting by bringing it lower, away from the ceiling, to instantly change the ambiance. Additionally, she highlights the significance of using textured carpets and fabric uh, as they play a pivotal role in creating a soft and welcoming atmosphere. Without these elements, the room can feel more like an office with its stark lighting and sharp edges. Jenna's approach to coming home is all about setting a soothing mood by dimming the lights and enveloping oneself in snug textiles. According to her, when she returns home, she prefers to create a calming atmosphere by dimming the lights and surrounding herself with soft, cozy textiles. Additionally, Jenna shared her belief in the essential role of rugs in interior design. She highlighted that rugs are often underestimated and overlooked but they have the incredible ability to tie a room together. When placed under furniture on a hardwood floor, they have a unifying effect, making all the pieces feel connected. When done correctly, rugs can harmoniously blend different colors and textures, resulting in a cohesive and visually pleasing room. Lastly, Jenna expressed her strong affinity for a particular aesthetic. She admitted to having a profound fascination with 70s style rooms, which she playfully referred to as cocaine den type rooms. These rooms typically featured wall-to-wall -wall carpeting and furniture that matched the color of the walls. She described her love for situations where textures vary, but colors remain consistent. Jenna always strives to introduce something unique or distinctive in the room, like the Millie sofa in the Dodar Mountain Tiger print, which can serve as a standout piece. However, she acknowledges that if other elements in the room, such as chairs or rugs, are already striking, the sofa should complement them by being more subdued. 
When it comes to accent tables, Jenna Lyons enjoys the freedom of mixing various heights and materials. She encourages the use of materials like marble, wood, travertine, brass, or even brick for coffee tables and occasional tables. This, she believes, allows for an enjoyable and texturally rich approach to furnishing a room. Thanks so much for watching. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Can't wait to catch you in our next video.